Even today, what remains of Chernobyl's nuclear reactor requires a shield to protect human life. For kilometre after deserted kilometre around this part of Ukraine, though, radiation levels still aren't safe. The apocalyptic disaster that occurred here brought the end of the Soviet Union one step closer. Now its successor wants to reverse what it sees as the humiliation that followed. So no longer can this radioactive landscape remain unmanned. These are Ukrainian special forces conducting a live fire exercise. Accompanied by National Guard officers who in the last few weeks have started to patrol here carrying radiation monitors as they do. Ukraine's let us in so Russia can see that its forces would no longer be able to move through uncontested. The border with Belarus is just a few kilometres north of here and NATO says that on the other side of it are now massed 30,000 Russian troops. So in one scenario, this area, the Chernobyl exclusion zone, could become a pathway for an attack on the capital. There are other reasons an offensive through here would be risky. Thick forests and swampland make it difficult to cross. Still, surveillance aircraft scout the border areas, looking for even the slightest signs of any imminent advance. Just outside the exclusion zone, civilians are all too aware of what could come. Many remember the last time disaster struck this place. 72-year-old Vitaly Kurinoy, in fact, won a bravery award for returning to the nuclear blast site to help. Decades on, his health failing him, Kurinoy holds out hope. I believe the West will stop Putin, he tells us, but I still have anxiety in my soul. Everyone we meet here is jittery, but few are preparing to leave. 37-year-old Lyubov Belets has a business to tend to, and much more than that. I'm here with my whole family, including my parents, she says. I can't leave them. Ukraine's defence minister has come to see these drills firsthand, so they must hold some significance. Even if the government line remains to play things down. Several thousand Russian troops are taking part in exercises in Belarus. Alexei Reznikov says that's not enough to carry out an invasion. Chernobyl's unique dangers would make this a precarious place to fight. But if no battle plan survives first contact with the enemy, war here can't be ruled out.